Hey, how you doing? Scott here from scottsbasslessons.com and today I've got something totally different for you. Um, the guys in the academy over at Scott's Bass Lessons, every week they get the opportunity to submit videos for student the student focus seminar that I do every week. And within that student focus seminar, I give people direct feedback on their playing, what they should be working on. It's their chance to ask me questions if they want to, you know, really trying to push their playing to the next level. And just a few weeks ago, one of our members submitted a video and he was being, he's been working on soloing over blues. Okay. Now, the blues chord sequence is a great, it's a great sequence to solo over. It's not super easy. Um, because especially not if you're doing it properly. I'm not talking about just minor pentatonic running up and down. I'm talking about really getting in there and, you know, outlining the chords. And there's a super, super cool technique that I use, okay, um, that really, really helps you with them brain jam- gymnastics. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much. Essentially, when, it, when you're moving from that chord one to chord four in a blues sequence, it's a really, really cool trick. I'm going to show you and talk about it in this video, okay? So... Check out the video. Massive thanks for the Academy member, Mark, who put this video forward. He's just a, such a cool guy, and I look forward to seeing his videos every week. If you want to check out the Academy, guys, there's a link below this video. Hit the link. You can try it out for 14 days, totally free. Um, and it's epic. So hopefully I'll see you in there. Good luck, and check out the video. Bye. Oh, that's really good. Uh, it's really good, Mark. Uh, the blues is a real stinker to solo around, isn't it? Um, what I'd first, because you're, so you're, I'd do what you're doing now and just sort of like try and do the soloing thing before tackling that phrasing exercise. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm actually recording this. Yeah, I am, yeah. Um, so what I'd try to do to start with is, is just get comfortable within an area and like you seem to be around this 12th fret area so maybe try and stay there just for a while and get used to just um going up and down the arpeggios first of all and getting comfortable for where they are so okay so there i just went up the f down to the third of the b flat and then down to the, up to the third of the F. So there I'm all around that area, you know, really try and stick to that area. It's, it's tough to start with. Also, so, and then obviously try and do what you're doing with the, you know, hitting the chord tones. But you can stay in one air, you know, you can, you don't have to sort of like get all the notes of all the chords. So you could, for instance, a one, two, three, four. Uh. simplistically kind of try and go go at it from a simplistic point of view and then you know you can also Again, all in that area. A really cool exercise or a really cool trick for this is on the one chord, right? Use the um, you can use the um, the F F F arpeggio, F dominant seven arpeggio. When it goes to that B seven, use F blues minor blues scale. So. So check it out. So F7 again. When you go to that B flat seven, F minor blues scale. And then it goes back to the F, right? 
then we, you know bring it into that third when it gets to the F. So the the, the progression goes like this. Here, that's all you're playing F7 there. F minor blues scale over there, F7 again, and it sounds like this, two, a one, two, a three, four. So there again, I messed it up a bit, but over the F7, I was just using F major pentatonic. When it goes to B flat seven, F minor pentatonic. And then when it goes to that D7, I really try and get that F sharp in because F sharp is the third of F dominant, right? So you could think of it like this, D7, okay, it's got an F sharp in it. Uh, well, I could play F diminished, F sharp diminished, because it's the same as, um, it's a, F sharp diminished is implying a D7 flat nine. Okay, so over the first few um, bars of this blues, we're just using um, variations of F. So on the first four bars, we're just put using F dominant seven arpeggios or um, F major uh, major pentatonic. <clears throat> As it goes to the B flat dominant, that's when you're using F minor, F minor blue scale. Then it goes back to the F seven, and when you go back to the F seven, you know go back to the F seven, and then when it hits that D seven, <clears throat> play F sharp diminished. Okay, so it sounds like this: a one, a two, a one. Two, three, four. That was done that. That's F sharp diminished. Again, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Hit that, that D7, F sharp diminished, just arpeggio, and then down to that minor. And then when it hits that G minor, you can play F major actually. So, so you're playing F major, pentatonic or dominant, F major, F minor, F major, F sharp diminished, F major over the entire thing. It sounds like this one, two, three, four. Let me do this. I'm going to do it. Let you check out the video that he was, uh, that he was, that he could get. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to let you. Hey, how you doing, Scotty? It's, can't laugh when I'm saying that. Uh. Hey, how you doing, Scotty from scottsbasslessons.com. Hope you're having a wicked day. Uh, today, I've got some.